Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw this really easy and you can manipulate it quite a bit and change it, make your style. The most important thing you do is go to the polygon tool and draw a four sided polygon with the control button down and then hit P. I'm going to go ahead and bring in indexing lines that are in the center of the page. I'm not going to use a four-sided. I'm going to use a three-sided. I'm going to change this to three-sided. That way, it's in the center of the page. Corel thinks the center's right there. The real center's right there. I've got my nudge factor set pretty high. I'm going to take a two-point line, and I'm going to go from that node to that node, and from that node to that node, and then I'm going to take my triangle and move it out of the way. I actually have a line there, you can't see it. Let me make it a little bit thicker so you can see it. Um, well, you'd have to make it quite a bit thicker. I don't wanna make it too thick. Then take these two lines, so you've selected them all, you've got two objects. Go up to effects and blend. Previously, I blended 30 times. Let's do like 35 and you get that effect. Now let's go ahead and make it black. The next thing I would do is go to object and, well, you can't do it because it's a blend. So we need to select it all, go to object and break the blend apart. I'm going to go ahead and go to object and ungroup it. And then you can actually go to object and convert the outline to an object. That's pretty important later on when we want to do colors to it. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to control G to group it. I'm going to control D to duplicate it but I'm gonna move, see where it thinks the center should be. I'm gonna move it to the crosshairs. Let me make sure it's there. It's not quite there. It needs to, you need to be dead on. Let me zoom in a little bit. Kind of hard to see, it needs to be right there. Now I'm gonna rotate that 120 degrees. Control D, 240 degrees. Look at that. Now, we can make it blue. And I'm going to go to object and group and group it together. I'm going to get rid of my indexing lines. Now I'm going to get the interactive fill tool. And the interactive fill tool is going to act a little slow because it's got so much to do. I'm just going to go from there to there. It's going to make that white. And then I'm going to make, as soon as it stops thinking about it, I'm going to bring in red and look at that. Now to make it really show off, bring in a black background or whatever you were going to print it on. And that's a pretty cool design. And you, I could have done thicker lines. I could have used thinner lines. I could have used more lines. If you remember, we did it uh, 35 blends, you know, you could go 40 or 50 and the lines would be a little bit closer. But that's a pretty cool graphic. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.